Hi friends, we will understand about checkboxes. These checkboxes are used when the user has to select one or multiple choices and submit it. So this check, uh, we will understand how by using JavaScript will manage this. So let's first start with a form name equal to form1, action equal to action action page dot php this is a php page what you will be using method equal to let's say post you can use get also now on submit on submit equal to now what is this page this form will do and on submit is return uh, let me put it under quotes return now validate what it will validate this so this is the form now closing of the form let's first find now inside this we'll write we'll write as submit button input type is equal to submit value equal to let's say submit now it's a time for a checkbox so we'll say input type equal to checkbox name is agree because we want to use this as a agree button value is let's say yes now close it agree so that's all let's see how it looks so I am refreshing so I can see that here is a button we are not so far not written the function we'll write it inside the script tag we'll write first our function function now it is validate now what it will be it will take input the form details so I am putting it now here I will first I will check what the status of the uh, check button in if now inside this document now form one is the name of the form why we are given now form one now will say that agree agree is the name of the checkbox now checked this will return true if it is checked and this will return false otherwise so because we want to give a message if it is not checked so we'll say in not here so if the check button is not checked then in that case this will be false so then it will be if this condition will be true now we'll say a lot check the button or if whatever message you want to give will give now what should happen to the form return false otherwise we'll say return true that's all so I have saved this refreshed it let's see what happens when I am not clicking check the button ok button is here so now say I have just clicked it or checked it then submit you can see this is form is submitted now this is this is actually the agree.php page this is sorry this is action.page and in that I have written one uh, small PHP code here to receive the data whatever I agreed and uh, printing it to the screen agree value is printed here and uh, I back to a backlink to back to the form now I came here now we'll uh, learn how to enable or disable a check button or a checkbox so instead of let's not go for a form now we'll remove this form we'll simple one check button and input type uh, button now value equal to say enable now this is no more a form so to remove the form tag input type uh, let's say enable in sorry input type equal button value is already we have written is as enable now value equal to now we'll say on click on click is equal to check control this is a func function name only and I am writing ENB okay this is the function I will like I want uh, to be executed once the button is clicked so this is check chk control or check control so this function name will change it so we'll say function control and it will receive the string so I am giving str1 so string1 I am receiving now inside this let me first remove all the stuff here let me keep it blank fine so here check button is there I am having another button which will uh, enable or disable it now let me just save this a copy and create one more button I will say disable value is disable and on click 
it is env um, i am trending it dsb or disable error any just string to identify which button is clicked the purpose is that now let's just save this better i will give a line break here so you can easily distinguish so save this now let me refresh this you can see one button uh, our check button is there and enable and disable two buttons are visible now now inside what whenever the any button is clicked the uh, will this function will be executed and will write the code inside that if now str1 equal to now will Id identify the button which is clicked disable uh, uh, button is clicked so equal to 2 equal to will be there so it's a, we are comparing it with so now we'll say document now okay now what i will do i will bot checkbox name now i let me give a id here id is ckb now we have earlier we have used name now we'll use the id so we'll know we can access the checkbox by using by its id also so we'll say now get element by id now what is the id we want to know checkbox or ckb this is the id we have just now given here to our checkbox here so get is disabled equal to true so what we are telling is if this uh, this button is clicked or dsb dsb means disable button is clicked then disable it else else is now let's just copy up to this point inside that i'll print it true i'll make it false so what i am doing is if disable button is clicked then then disable you set it to property to set it true otherwise the disable property is to be set it to false so let's just refresh this and see how it works now uh, it is already enabled so i can click it now i'll let me disable it it is disabled now let me just enable it again so i can disable it like this also i cannot use it now i can click this enable button to enable it use it and again disable it this is how i can handle the property of disable to make it true or false to make it enable or disable